here is why you should care about this stuff in the first place. Nielsen did, Nielsen is the largest rating firm in the world, and they did a study recently where they looked at the largest trafficked websites in the world. Google's number one, Facebook and YouTube go back and forth between number two and number three. And what they found was very interesting. People spend 450% more time on Facebook than they do on Google. And with 1.4 billion people on Facebook today, and that number going to double in three years, so 2.8 billion people, your customers, your fans, your readers, they're on Facebook. And I frequently have people tell me, say, well, you know, my, my readers, they're, they're in their 60s and they don't really Facebook. That's actually the fastest growing segment of Facebook. So the reality is you're either on Facebook and you're ahead of the conversation or you are getting left behind. This really is mandatory for any author out there today. Um, and so why, how does this actually help you? Well, this helps you from something called referral traffic. So what's referral traffic? Well, when you're looking to get traffic from a website, um, it used to be that the main source of traffic was from Google. And Google, is, it, Google used to be the number one source of referral traffic. However, Facebook is out pacing Google for the number one source of referral traffic. So here's the thing. I can drive better, more targeted traffic to my website, to my, my book on Amazon, um, and off of Facebook than I can get organically from Google. Uh, if you may have heard of search engine optimization, a lot of people spend a lot of time on search engine optimization. I spend no time on search engine optimization. I spend my time um, cultivating relationships on Facebook and using that to drive referral traffic to my website. Now, Amazon's traffic from Facebook rose 321% last year. So if you're going to market and sell your book, Amazon is a great place to do it. And if you're like me, I published my book myself. I'm a self-published author, and I am driving traffic uh, from my Facebook page to Amazon, and it is really working. So why does all this work? Well, there's a new type of search and that is called discovery. Discovery is the new kind of search. So again, people used to find your business from Google through search, but people are now finding your website in new ways. They're, they are discovering it. So people now are clicking the like button on your Facebook page and they might find your Facebook page because one of your friends or one of your fans shared a video or shared one of your pictures on your photo album stack or commented on your page and their friends discovered it in their news feed and clicked on it too and that's how people ended up finding you. So let me give you an example. Um, my friend Alicia Dunham's has a um, uh, I actually took her course on how to write a book. So she's got a great course called Best Seller in a Weekend. And Alicia Dunham's recently um, sponsored a, um, we did a joint venture where she marketed my course to her people. In fact, you may be seeing yourself on this thread right now. And so while Alicia had put this on, um, my friend Kathy Morenzi and my friends Russ Burke uh, had uh, found me through Alicia's course and was able, and because we were able to interact, we were able to get some um, comments in the news feed on this post that, sh that Alicia did on, on Facebook. And because of that, many people actually came to attend our webinar and many further still ended up purchasing the course and that is called discovery. Um, so what is, again, if we take discovery and we go a little bit further, discovery is really word of mouth marketing online. Word of mouth marketing online. So here's an example uh, with Maria. Hi Brett, uh, Jeannie suggested I contact, I connect with you and I'm looking for a social media strategist to help me grow my platform. Not looking for another program, but I'm looking for someone to do it for me. And that is perfect because that is a, um, it's somebody who's not just looking for 
a course there that's a high-end client looking for one of our very high-end do it for me programs and if you want to attract high-end clients uh, word of mouth marketing is the best way to do it and there's no better platform to perpetuate word of mouth marketing than Facebook. Here's one on the left of Cindy. Cindy said, hey, um, yeah, I'm so excited to crack the Facebook sales code. I saw what you have done for Gina DeVee. Gina DeVee is a great coach. She's a good friend of mine and I've helped her and I've got a lot of customers who discovered me from Gina DeVee's Facebook page. So word of mouth marketing is alive and well. In fact, I would say about 98% of my customers come to me through word of mouth marketing and we have over a thousand customers now. And so that doesn't mean that I have to get a traditional referral from people, but what's happening is people are discovering me through Facebook and word of mouth marketing. The other part of this that is going to be really important for you as an author is friend recommendations drive sales. A recent study came out that showed that consumers are 68% more likely to buy a product that's recommended by a Facebook friend. Now you and I know that Facebook friends doesn't mean necessarily that somebody is a friend in real life. I have lots of people that I'm friends with on Facebook and I've even cultivated a substantial relationship with those people who I've never actually met in person. So what I'm saying there is you, you could have thousands and thousands of Facebook friends where it's hard to do that in real life um, and those people are 68% more likely if it's a friend of a friend uh, to buy your stuff. Another study showed that Facebook fans can be super customers. What's a super customer? Well, a super customer is somebody who spends twice as much or, you know, 135% to 150% more than a non-fan. That alone is a great reason to have a Facebook page and to start trying to get fans. Now, these friend recommendations drive sales. So this is a, another study done by the Pew Research Center. And why do people go to Facebook? Well, people go to Facebook to see what friends and family are up to. That's the main, that's the main reason. Well, if friends or family are up to reading your book, that is a great way to get discovered. When people are sharing photos and videos of friends and family, well, let's say it's a photo of somebody who met you or a photo of somebody who's at one of your events um, or if they're chatting or messaging with friends or family um, that can dramatically drive sales so here's an example of that so here is um, Amanda who just purchased my book on Amazon so I just bought a track customers now from Facebook and this is a super cool easy Facebook marketing book one really nice thing that Amazon does automatically is once somebody purchases your book this is the screen that they will see uh, share this item and it starts out with I just bought track customers now from Facebook and then they can click the share button and so I encourage I encourage people who are um, purchasing my book when we, if, if I do a one on one consultation and I'm getting, uh, I'm, I'm adding value to somebody and I ask them for a testimonial, um, if somebody's going to purchase my book or even if they don't purchase my book, I still ask for a testimonial if I've effectively delivered value on uh, Amazon and that helps for a tremendous amount of social proof plus additional discovery. So this is what it looks like in Amanda's Facebook news feed. Here's this super cool easy Facebook marketing book. Well you know Amanda has um, close to a thousand Facebook friends and she's very active on Facebook and so now a lot of her friends are going to see this book and that again helps me get discovered and it's so powerful because I didn't have to ask for a referral all Amanda did is if she liked the book she simply clicked the the uh, share button on Amazon and it shared it directly on Facebook so 
what we're doing here is we are finding new ways to drive traffic to our website and or our books on Amazon or wherever you want traffic to go, wherever you want um, web users to go. It's not just about getting likes. So I want to be really clear about something. Getting likes on your Facebook page does not equal customers. Likes do not equal readers. It takes more than just likes. And what we're gonna what you're gonna learn how to do is something called news feed optimization. And it sounds may sound a little complicated, but the here's the secret. It's super easy to do news feed optimization. And you're gonna learn how to get Facebook comments on your website or your Facebook page if you don't yet have a website. And and by the way, if you don't have a website yet, you can really do all of your marketing on Facebook alone. It's better to have a website in the long run, but for those of you who are just getting started, you can literally just have your Facebook page and you can self-publish on Amazon and you can, you can have a, a, a lot of success without even a website, although I still recommend a website. But you can get Facebook comments on your website to help uh, boost your revenue and traffic. And then you get post-purchase shares. So one of the things that I focus on is um, if somebody buys my product, I first, I, I want to deliver a lot of value. I want to make sure that they get the value that they came for. After that, once somebody says, wow, that was great, I'm a happy customer, that's when I would ask somebody for a testimonial. And again, it's so much easier than asking for a referral because it's it can be hard to ask for referrals. It could also be daunting. It could be a little bit scary, but it's not hard after you've delivered value and somebody says the magic words "thank you" to uh, reply and and give somebody uh, ask someone for a quick testimonial on Facebook. So second only to friends, shoppers, and customers most looked at reviews from people like themselves to decide on a purchase, and it really helps.